Darwin, St. Louis, Missouri, and Abraham Lincoln are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is February 12th, 2021. It is the 43rd day of the year. There are 322 days left in this year. It is the 7th Friday and the 54th day of winter. And here in Portland, it's starting to snow. There are 36 days left until spring. If today's your birthday, your birthstone is still an amethyst. That doesn't change that often. Those stones stay like the same for months and months at a time, it seems like. Weird. I look into that. Anyway, today is Darwin Day. Darwin Day commemorates the life and achievements of Charles Darwin. Names like Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Galileo, and Charles Darwin are among the most historic names in science. Darwin's most famous achievement is the development of the theory of natural selection. Darwin Day was established in 1995 by three Darwin enthusiasts. It is observed annually on Charles Darwin's birthday, which is February 12th. If you want to celebrate today, go out and do something stupid. That's the best way to celebrate Darwin Day. Don't get injured though. All right, let's see what else happened on February 12th. 1935, the USS Macon, one of the two largest helium-filled airships ever created, crashes into the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California and sinks, never to be seen again. 1946, African-American United States Army veteran Isaac Woodward is severely beaten by a South Carolina police officer to the point where he loses vision in both eyes. The incident later galvanized the civil rights movement and partially inspired Orson Welles' film Touch of Evil, which is a good movie, by the way. If you like older movies, that's a good one. Tragic story, though. 1963, construction begins on the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. The Gateway Arch is a 630-foot monument in St. Louis clad in stainless steel and built in the form of a weighted catenary arch. This thing has a lot of tallests. It is the world's tallest arch, the tallest man-made monument in Western Hemisphere, and Missouri's tallest accessible building. Yeah, you could actually go up inside it. Not a lot of people know that, but there's an elevator that takes you up there. It's pretty neat. I'm sure it's closed down because of the pandemic right now. I didn't look into it, but I'm assuming. The arch was designed by Finnish-American architect Eero Cernan in 1947. Construction began on February 12th, 1963, and was completed on October 28th, 1965. It is an impressive thing to look at. It's hard to believe that it's that tall. It just doesn't look like it should be standing. You know, it just seems too big, and from a distance, it looks kind of skinny, and you'd think it would fall over. If you ever get a chance, definitely go see it. 1990, Carmen Lawrence becomes the first female premier in Australian history when she becomes the premier of Western Australia. 1999, the United States President Bill Clinton is acquitted by the United States Senate in his impeachment trial. Yeah, we talked about this before. It started off with the Whitewater investigation, which was a shady land deal, and they found nothing there, or nothing he did wrong. And then they went on to him lying to Congress about his inappropriate sexual relationship with Monica Lewinsky. I follow her on Twitter. She is a very bright lady, and, um... She impresses me all the time with things she says about government issues, and she seems very neutral on a lot of them. And I think a lot of her views are just very common sense, and she kind of looks at them from a neutral point. It's kind of interesting. 2002, the trial of Slobodan Milosevic, the former president of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, begins at the United Nations International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavian in The Hague, Netherlands. He died four years later before the conclusion of the trial. 2009, Colgan Air Flight 3407 crashes into a house in Clarence Center, New York, while on approach to Buffalo Niagara International Airport, killing all on board and one person on the ground. I watched some videos on this, and it was pretty sad. Everything was going fine, and then just all of a sudden they lost communication. I listened to all the air traffic controllers go back and forth, and they're asking other planes in the air, do you see anything? Because this thing just disappeared and hit the ground. It's pretty scary. Sadly, one of the ladies on the plane, she was an insurance executive, she lost her husband in the 9-11 attacks. So, yeah, total bad luck. That was just too bad. Anyway, movies released on February 12th, 1993. Groundhog Day outstanding Bill Murray movie. I love this movie. I didn't really get into it the first time. As I watched it over the years, I've probably seen it six, seven times. It's just got funnier and funnier. I don't know why I didn't think it was that funny the first time, but yeah, as I watch it a bunch more times, I just, it's kind of a genius movie. It's really interesting. Really like it. If you ever get a chance, definitely watch it. Born on February 12th, 1809, Abraham Lincoln. Yes, Abraham Lincoln. Always voted like one of the top five presidents we've ever had. And most of the time, he's like number one. Did a lot for the country and sadly was assassinated, as we all know. Died on February 12th, 2015, Gary Owens, American radio host and voice actor. 
he was best known for his role in Rowan and Martin's Laughing. He died at the age of 80 due to complications due to type 1 diabetes. I remember hearing him as a kid on the radio all the time. My mom was a listen to the radio all the time. And I remember hearing his voice for years and watching old reruns of Laughing. He has a very distinct voice. And as soon as I hear it, I just think back to when I was young. It's really weird. But yeah, sadly, he died. Age 80. That's a good run. But, you know, he just when someone like that as a celebrity that you hear growing up and stuff like that, you kind of feel bad when they pass away. I remember when he died. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go forth, have a very successful Friday, and we'll see you at the next video. Be nice to each other.